platform basically is to um, eradicate uh, unemployment to also help uh, with the social economy challenges we have in our beloved country Nigeria. The platform is here to not just only to mentor and to guide but it's a home for every entrepreneur, every person who seems lost in their businesses and those who just want to venture into business, business okay? Regardless the kind of business uh, they want to venture into, uh, we saw the need as a body and as uh, people to invest back in our society, to help in making sure that we have uh, a better space, a better environment for entrepreneurs you know, to strive in whatever they are doing. As you notice, most of these core members, once they are done with school, they, most of them don't really have a direction and there's no job waiting for most of them. So the platform has come to bridge that gap to see, not just only educate them on businesses, for those who have businesses, but to also help them, you know, become better in um, what they do as business people, as persons who are conscious, who are, who are curious, you know, going into the labor market. So we are basically there to direct them, to give them this guide that, okay, now uh, you are here and um, the NYC have come in collaboration with us in different uh, states. And since we are here, uh, we want to let you know, you know, NYC is in support of uh, small business owners, okay, through their SAHID program, right? So the Stability and Sustenance uh, and Business and Entrepreneurship Platform have come to partner with them uh, to see that it's not just a program that will end during the uh, the NYC period for them, but a program that will continue for them, meaning they can have continuity, they can have a guide in that businesses they are doing, okay, going forward. And of course, we have what's called the Mentees Retreat. So the Mentees Retreat is uh, every year what we do is we bring in every uh, person that we've mentored within a period of time, come together under one umbrella, under one roof for a period of days, you know, get to bond with themselves, learn more, collaborate, okay, learn strategies that can help them scale up better, you know, in their business and faster. Then uh, that brings us to the summit, which we are here for today. Uh, the summit is like saying, okay, we've done AYZ, now let everybody, let the general public and personalities, you know, come in to also see what we are doing and to see how the government can also uh, be part of uh, what we are doing to help uh, further uh, uh, growth and uh, great uh, entrepreneur, entrepreneur environment for uh, our entrepreneurs. Of course, uh, uh, now there's a lot of way government can create this thing. Now I'll give one free, in as much as government have not come to make for consultancy, which they should be paying for, yeah? But I'll give one for free, <laughs> all right? So it's very easy. Now imagine we have a, a, a major, in each state, all right, or the federation, the, the capital of that state, right? And the, uh, the, the uh, commercial city, in that particular state. Let's take Delta State for instance, the capital is Asaba. So imagine in Asaba we have a mega uh, uh, empowerment center where you have a place for fashion designing, shoemaking, uh, studio for singers, studio for dancers. And now in Wari, where is the, like, the commercial city? You have something like that again. Then all the local government, you have like a center, a small center whereby people from that local government can walk in to make inquiries about entrepreneurship, tell them their skills. So once you qualify, by the midst of seriousness, you're willing to succeed. They, they either take you to Asaba or to worry to get your training for free. Then when you finish the training, the government empowers you. If you're a tailor, a fashion design, you learn fashion design from them, they give you your sewing machine. I'm not saying, I'm seeing the little ones, the government are doing here and there, but it can be more because the follow-up is the challenge. So you see, and in these offices in each local government you've created, you have two, two members of staff there who you are paying salary. That in the mega ones empowerment center in those two uh, uh, places, the capital of that state and the commercial uh, city of that state, you have over 100 persons employed, professionals who are doing stuff, who you are partnering with. So it's it's that's one of the ways that uh, the government can actually penetrate into helping SMEs, not just doing events like this, gathering people, and you know we need more. You see the things we are doing. We are going to the NYC, we are touching every corner. We are going to the communities to do small business with profit. We are having mentees retreats. You know, we, 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 we are penetrating into every corner you can think about and creating, having our own uh, stronghold in those cities so that we can reach them. And not just that, our weekly mentorship program is helping a lot to see how these people are doing and, follow, and we are following them up with that. Um, for the states that we are currently in, 
a number of because the platform in itself is a year old. We've not been able to. The, the thing that has not happened is the NYC project. Now we have um, engaged about ten states, and that's what it's been leveraging. So of those ten states, it's mentioned about five of them. Some of them are states like Ogun State. Some of them are states like Igiti. We've engaged them, and they've all committed to joining us on this journey. But the camps have not opened. So until the camps open, we cannot tell you which of the states we have actually started the work in until we actually see them in camp. It's easy to say they've accepted, but you know how these things are. This is Nigeria. On the other side, in terms of Naira and Kobo, um, and what we've added to the economy, what we plan to add to the economy, you have to first piggyback over the fact that a lot of the money that we actually give is in small sums. However, the value to each individual, if we're taking them per person, is roughly for us, I mean, um, scale of businesses that we've supported, um, over about 30 to 50 businesses. Um, I think in a nutshell, I would say it's close to 15, 20 million Naira in terms of what they've been able to generate as businesses. And for us, that is our effort actually bringing value. So if we've put, what, a 50K in someone's business and they've gone ahead to go and do a business that is now employing people and have almost a 50 to 500, 500, 500,000 Naira value, that for us means that that business has become 500,000 value. And that's value for us. And that's how we're counting it. So projection, our goal is in the next 10 years to actually be a multi-million, say at least a billion,